Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> it is Tuesday the 14th, 12th, yes, <laughs> Tuesday the 14th. Um, I'm three days behind, so I have a great admiration for all of the Vlogmas uh, podcasters who managed to get out something every single day. Uh, but I wanted to pop in and um, <clears throat> just kind of go through the next three days of Advent with you. Um, to get started for this week. So I hope everybody's having a, hope you had a nice weekend. You had a good week. So day 12, which would have been Sunday, we have <clears throat> the painting for Inspire the Yarn is Ram's Head, White Hollyhock Hills. Um, hopefully I'll be popping a photo in there for you to take a look at what that's like, or at least something similar. And um, <clears throat> looking at the thumbnail uh, that I have, uh, it's a ram skull uh, with kind of a purpley gray background and uh, the hills kind of like in the distance behind it sort of floating in the in the foreground so let's take a look and see how the interpretation of that is all right yes okay so we've got the brown tones some speckles I'm sorry, I think my lighting's gonna be a little bit unusual here. Hopefully that'll pick up okay. And I also forgot my microphone, so hopefully the sound will be all right for this few minutes. I'll uh, fix it tomorrow. <clears throat> so pretty, pretty there. Definitely get the grays, the browns, a little bit of green that's in the background. And there you go. So very nice. That would end up really pretty. There's some nice speckles. That's day 12. <clears throat> day 13. Um, I actually do have in my book. Um, this is uh, called Flower Abstraction. 1924 oil on canvas. It's 48 by 30 inches. And to, in the exhibit that I saw, it was lent from the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York. And this was a 50th anniversary gift of Sandra Payson. <clears throat> so that is the inspiration for the next yarn. <clears throat> and we got did a little pre-opening. I did not peek, but I pre-opened so you wouldn't have to listen to so much crinkling. Sorry for that in the last uh, video there. So here we go. Get the yellow, the green, there's some speckles. Pinks is very pale, but definitely picking up that same color uh, throughout. And here we are unwound. <clears throat> and here we go here. And uh, yeah, really nice. All right, and for the last day, um, day 14 today, we've got Sunflower from Maggie, and that's exactly how it sounds. It's a large sunflower on a little bit of a peachy um, background. So here's the skeined up version. Oh, we got a very nice little stitch marker there. Definitely has the, the sun, definitely a little sunflower, so super cute. And if I unwind, and there's definitely some really great subtleties of that pink and the green and the yellow coming through. Hope you, hopefully the camera's picking it up nicely. Again, a really pretty interpretation of uh, that painting. So that is caught up through today, and I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Uh, today is Thursday, December the 16th, so I've got two uh, advents to open, the 15th and the 16th. Uh, so our inspiration painting for the 15th is Yellow Hickory Leaves uh, with Daisy. Hopefully I'm able to pop a <clears throat> picture in here so you can get a sense of it, but it's a very large yellow and gold background of the hickory leaves and then a small daisy uh, in the foreground. So 
Again, I've tried to avoid some crinkling for you. <laughs> so yes, just uh, as, as you might expect from the, from the painting, the yellows brought in a little bit of green, kind of white for the daisy. And take a look at it unwound. There we go. So very nice. Here. <clears throat> and for day 16, uh, the inspiration painting is um, Sunrise. I don't have an exact one of, I will again try to pop one in here. Um, but in the uh, book that I've been referencing, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, uh, Art and Letters, um, there is a, uh, another one that was around that time called Sunrise and Little Clouds 2. And um, what I think is interesting about this and a, and a couple on the next page is this is um, watercolor on paper, 9 by 12. So it's a smaller um, work uh, in, in uh, uh, watercolor rather than oils. And I will say that the inspiration painting Sunrise, uh, it does not have quite the variety of color. It's more um, magentas, pink, some purple, uh, and the yellow sun. But you can see it's a little bit different style um, than some of the earlier ones that we looked at. Um, here's another couple of watercolors done during that period. So kind of different colors and maybe a little bit different than we think about um, typical for um, um, George O'Keefe painting. So I think that's just sort of interesting uh, to look at the variety there. So we have sunrise. So yes, definitely that pink, that magenta. There's the gold there with the sun. Let's open that up. And uh, yeah, a really great representation. Um, kind of if you think about the that that harmony variety there and uh, definitely this the gold of the sun coming through and the lighter pink there so all right see you tomorrow happy friday everyone today is december the 17th and uh, we're opening up the uh, friday december 17th <laughs> advent today. So today's inspiration photo is called From the Old Garden Number 2, which must have been a series. And uh, again, I have Flam pop popping a photo in here so you can see kind of clearly, but uh, looking at the thumbnail, um, I would say it looks like a garden composition with um, some multiple florals, got some yellow, some red, quite a bit of green, uh, yellow, a little bit of blue. So let's see how that translated this, this one. Oh, yeah. Totally pretty. Look at that. Very nice. I love that pink and the green and the yellow together. Um, let's do a little unwinding there. And you can see, again, those colors sort of play off of each other. Really pretty. Nice, nicely done. Nicely done, got some speckles in there as well. So that's today's. A um, couple other things, I got some happy mail today. I had uh, Addison of the um, Ruby and Roses uh, yarn. Um, Dyer had, has a, had a sale or been running a sale. So I um, had held out and held out and held out and I watched the podcast last week and I went, ah, okay, I gotta dive in. So. Um, got a few goodies today. Pardon the crinkle. So, first up, I have been eyeing this colorway, which is called Velvet, since I think she put it out. Um, the um, this one here is Velvet in the Rose DK, 100% Superwash Merino. And this is its companion in the Rose Cloud Baby Surrey Alpaca. So I've never knit anything with mohair. I don't think I've knit anything with Surrey Alpaca. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, with this, but um, 
it just seemed like the opportunity to uh, to to jump in and and uh, and get them, and I just think they're so so pretty. And then I also um, had been eyeing the um, Castle by Day uh, sock set, which was um, uh, dyed up for the um, sock miss uh, that Nitty Natty is running. So um, here's the main color. This was inspired by the Disney Castle, uh, as might be seen in the daytime if you if you have not watched that on. Uh, Nitty Nitty, if you have, you've, you've seen her display it. So um, really nice two minis and uh, the main color, of course. So, And then with her um, sale, since so she's going to be moving, um, there was a free mini. So have a look at that. That's just really fun and bright and um, definitely will go into something um, for, for sure. Um, also, have a really quick knitting update. I had... Worked on my, um, which I haven't shown, I have worked on the night shift shawl, um, like Sunday and Monday, uh, Tuesday maybe, and then um, the last couple nights have um, got back out my um, frogged socks <laughs> that were from the Knit Nook um, uh, anniversary colorway. So um, on, the, on the one sock I have just got the toe, I'm kind of doing these concurrently, if you will, on nine inch circular. So got to toe, not quite to the heel. And on its partner, I started turning the heel uh, last night. So up here, I think those are gonna be really fun. I'm gonna do sort of mid, um, mid calf on that. So. so that's what I have been up to the last couple of days. Um, I hope you've had a great week and are looking forward to a nice uh, weekend and are able to enjoy a little bit of holiday spirit what, no matter what uh, holiday season you're, you're celebrating and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow and we'll get this, uh, this edition up um, hopefully on Sunday so thanks so much good evening everyone today is Saturday December the 18th and today's inspiration painting by Georgia O'Keeffe is called Nature Forms, I believe it's Gasp, could be Gaspé, because <laughs> it's French, um, and I'll tell you how I have deduced that. Um, uh, anyway, but it, the today's painting is based on, or today's painting is, in my book. Uh, here it is. And, get the glare off there, sorry. Oil on canvas, it's 10 by 24, um, painted in uh, 1932 is how it's credited. And before I open the yarn, I'm gonna read you a little bit uh, from a letter where she references what I think is probably the inspiration for this. Um, and the letter is uh, to Dorothy Brett, uh, written on a train from New York to Lake George in approximately September of 1932. Um, she opens the letter talking about having been in New York. It goes on to <clears throat> say uh, in the next paragraph, I've been to Canada three times, very good country for painting, quite as good as New Mexico but I miss the sun. It is better in that one never meets anyone one knows and I can't talk to anyone I meet because they all speak French. Had a very grand time last time I was up on the Gasp or Gaspé and again, I apologize to the French Canadians <laughs> Peninsula, a very rocky coast, very high cliffs rising out of the sea and wild forests coming right down to the sea. It is a very good, quite perfect if it had New Mexico sun. I have a few paintings, one four feet by seven of a cross that I saw in Laurentian Hills in the spring. A bit mad, but rather nice. So I believe that is the inspiration of that. And if you, I think you kind of get a feeling of that sort of wild, um, you know, uh, cliffs and rocks and 
a little bit wild in nature. So I think that's quite an interesting reference there. So today's yarn is, look how pretty. That is, Let's see if I can hold it up with the painting. You definitely can see the teal and the gold, the green, that green gold. Um, there we go, a little bit in there. So very nice. This is, might be one of my favorites uh, so far. So again, here we go. I'll do a little unwinding. It's a really nice combination of of colors. And there we go. There we go there. So <clears throat> that is today. Um, I have been doing a little knitting. I've, I've finished the second sock that I had yesterday. If you looked at my Instagram stories, you'll see that I ran out of the contrast heels. So I have kind of half and half. Um, that's all right. Turned out fine. They're for me. Um, and then I picked up uh, to finish a little gift knitting. I've got a couple of <clears throat> sock sets I'm going to do out of a sock tube. Um, so I will uh, maybe have that in the next one or... Again, I'll be on my Instagram. Thanks so much for joining me this week. I hope you've had a good week and happy knitting, spinning, dyeing, and weaving. Bye, everybody.